Hey, it's Robert here from robertcbrand.online. Hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world today. I decided to sit in the lounge. Today feels like a lounge day to talk to the, the laptop because, I don't know, the weather's a bit funky to say the least. It's not very nice out there. And I didn't feel like sitting in the office, so I thought I'd come and chill out and work today in the living room and do my little video from the living room as well today because I feel nice and cosy and relaxed here. So anyway, let's get to the point of the video. Overthinking and consciously controlling your thoughts. It's a difficult thing to do. Let me tell you why. Because thoughts, you have approximately, the average human being has about 60,000 thoughts a day, or so they say, okay? Now, 60,000 thoughts a day is an awful lot of thoughts to be consciously aware of each single one, right? It really is. Even if you were going to say, okay, 10% of those thoughts, I'm going to consciously monitor. That's still 6,000 conscious thoughts in a day. Have you any idea how much energy that would take? And really what you would be doing, if you think that just controlling your thoughts will control your outcome, you're actually travelling down the wrong path. You're wasting an awful lot of time and energy on the wrong thing. I've often mentioned that we, we live in a feeling universe. Okay. Now, here's the way it works. Your feelings... And your emotions dictate what you think. Okay, so let's just take emotions. Because emotion is when your feelings get to a point where you start to manifest. Because emotion is like the catalyst. It brings things forward. Okay, it puts you in alignment with the right vibration to bring certain things in there. There can be positive things and there can be negative things. Of course. But here's the thing. One emotion can have a multitude of thoughts. A myriad would be a better word. Myriad of thoughts. So wouldn't it then make sense to you to put your effort, conscious effort, on controlling your emotions. Because here's what happens. Your feelings feed your emotions. Your emotions go around and fuel the feelings. And it's a vicious cycle. And on top of that, your RAS, your reticular activation system, will put its hand up and say, hey, let me go out and seek some more evidence to prove that how you're feeling about this is correct. And that can compounds the vicious circle okay now I say vicious circle because obviously if you put that to good use and it's positive feelings then only good things can come from that but so many of us get caught in a negative cycle or a negative loop with this stuff okay and what then happens is the thoughts spring out from the feelings and the emotions so then what we do is we'll go out there and we'll say, okay, well, we're consciously aware we're doing all of this thinking. Let's take these thoughts and think different thoughts. Now, hey, that's a good start, but it's not getting to the root of the problem. What you've got to do is you've got to actually attach different meanings. You've got to reframe things so that you get different feelings and different emotions about your external stimulus. And that will promote more productive and positive thinking. As a result of that, your reticular activation system will go out and find evidence to support that new thought pattern, that new feeling and that new belief that you're building. And as a result, it will empower you to be more, do more and have more. You'll be able to go out there and do things that perhaps right now you won't be able to do. So in summary, I've gone on a bit. Hopefully I haven't gone too deep into this. But if you're really stuck in a quandary and you feel like, OK, you're, you're aware that you're thinking the wrong things and you're not feeling so good, concentrate on your emotions. Concentrate on what you're feeling and where that is coming from. 
and start to address that first. It's a lot easier because you'll have far fewer feelings and emotions than you will thoughts. So it makes sense to start there. And as a result, you won't control the number of, th of thoughts you have in a day, by the way. But as a result of starting at this end of the spectrum, you can control the quality of your thinking. And that will enhance the quality of your life. It's as simple as that. Hope that's been of use. I'm here at least twice a week releasing videos just like this. If you like this video, then do me a favour and just like it, subscribe to the channel, click the bell, you get notified every time I bring another video out. And if you want to dig even deeper into all things personal development and spiritual alignment, then get across to robertcbrown.online. That's robertcbrown.online. Join my email list and at the same time you'll join a wonderful community of like-minded people who are all there for the same reason and ultimately to make a positive difference to this beautiful planet of ours. If that's you, can't wait to welcome you there too. Have a great rest of your day. Check in with me again soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.